Hello. This example is going to model several of the concepts that we're going to expect you to use in your semester project, and we are going to create a zoo as our example. A zoo can contain many objects, such as animals, people, vendors, buildings, ponds, etc. We are going to work with one of those objects and develop a project, and it will model the concepts used in your semester project. Things to look for, and this is not a complete list yet, but it'll get us started. Developing classes, superclasses versus subclasses, and how we use inheritance. An abstract based class and using a static class variable. We will implement polymorphism before we are done. We are going to use a container called a vector. Arrays are also a type of container, and I will refer to arrays as we work through our examples but we are going to actually implement vectors and we're going to write read and write to data files. This is an example of a UML diagram and it shows the relationship between the superclass and the subclasses. You will be expected to use a UML diagram in your semester project. There are some sources here that you can link to for some help. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language and programmers often use them to communicate the structure and the details of a programming project. Please check out the links. You will use the object diagram, which was on the previous page, and that is sometimes called a hierarchy chart, and you will also be using class diagrams. This is a generic class diagram. We have worked with them just a little bit. But the generic class diagram has basically three parts, the name of the class, the instance fields, and then the methods. I have put the constructor and destructor into its own little section here, but they're methods that are used in the class. And then you have your typical methods, your getter, your setters, and your other methods as needed. Your instance fields are, we're going to use the underscore style with the um, underscore in front of the identifier and we're going to use a minus sign to indicate private variables. We will also use plus signs to indicate public variables. This is the class diagram that we are going to work from in order to write the first class. This is the type of class diagram you will be expected to create before you code any of your semester project. Please notice we have three instance fields the minus sign indicates that they are private, and we're using underscore name, underscore weight, and underscore food total on those. In the class diagram, the colon separates the identifier from the data type. So the first one is a data type string, the others are doubles. The constructor always has the name of the class. The name of the class is animal, and we will have a default, and then we will have a parameterized constructor. At the very end, we might not have both of those, but to start with, that's what we're going to use. And then we have a destructor, which is named beginning with a tilde. That's the key above the tab on your keyboard. That helps us with memory management. A destructor will clean up all of the memory when we're done with an object or an instance of an object. The rest of these are your typical getters. There's some setters, and then we have a couple other methods here. Because I'm only going to change the food total within feed, when we feed an animal, I did not create a set method for setting the food total. So we have three getters and two setters, and then a couple other helper methods.